I had a cough like I had never had before. Um, it was really uh, kind of a deeper cough, uh, hurting my ribs and pulling stomach muscles and, and everything. But the thing that got me was I couldn't get a good breath when I was coughing. Um, got to the point that I was uh, feeling like I needed to vomit and it was just very uncomfortable. Plus it was quite frequent. I had uh, my pertussis cough for well over a hundred days. It definitely lives up to its name. <laughs> Reputation on the hundred day cough. The coughing and not being able to get a breath, it would um, stop me in my tracks when I would um, need to cough. So I'd have to stop, tighten my core up so that I could protect, try to protect my muscles, um, ribs the best that I could. But you know, I also bend it over because like, you just can't get that breath in, which um, is really frustrating. Um, but then also the feeling the, the need to vomit um, when you're coughing. And in my case, it also impacted my bladder after um, weeks of coughing. Um, weaken my bladder too, which was not fun. It was hard to tell exactly how much was tied directly to pertussis, but um, I developed some other health issues uh, having to do with uh, weakened esophageal sphincter, and um, I developed life-threatening acid reflux issues as a result of that. Um, and I, I say life-threatening, the acid was aspirating into my lungs, so uh, I had some really serious breathing issues. So I had all of the normal childhood vaccinations. Um, unfortunately, at the time that I got sick, it was before adults were recommended the um, uh, boosters. So I um, was an education manager at a Head Start program. So we had a lot of little ones in the building. And my first thought when I found out was, oh no, I've exposed all of these kids to potentially um, life-threatening illness. Because I know that in children it's much more severe, or it can be more severe. Um, they have a high rate of hospitalizations and a higher rate of death. And, you know, if they were to get it and take it home to their siblings and they have infants in the home, um, then uh, the infants are much higher risk. One of the things that I felt kind of blessed for was I'd had a sinus infection right before. So maybe that infection made me a little more susceptible on the picking up the whooping cough, I don't know. But I was on antibiotics for that that were actually used for um, the whooping cough. So they determined that uh, I really through my contagious period was fairly protected from exposing others to it. So I was blessed in that way. It is um, not just a, a random nickname. It, it's true to its word. And I am a strong believer in vaccines. And I can say when I um, went into the early childhood field years ago, the first year I taught, 23 of the children in my class got chicken pox. Um, by the time I was managing my Head Start program, the chicken pox vaccine was available. None of the kids ever got chicken pox. So I liken the pertussis vaccine to that, you know. It reduces the risk so significantly that um, hopefully if you ever did get it, you'd get it much more mild than what I had or it would just prevent you from getting it in the first place, which would be ideal. And um, I can only imagine um, as you get, the older you get, that um, the harder it can be to recoup, because uh, it really does take a lot out of you.